Hi guys, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here with a quick little video of my Thrifty Thursday uh, finds from the past week. I just come to you usually every Thursday if I can. And I try to uh, make it a habit here. And I'm still going to do it in 2021. But uh, I just come and show you because I, I go thrifting uh, on several days on my lunch break just for you know my lunch break is an hour you know Monday through Friday and there's a thrift store that I love that's next really very close to my office so I just you know uh, go over there and wander around on my lunch break and look around and see what I can find usually and so uh, this week uh, I think I got all of this at that particular thrift store pretty much but I found these cards uh, they're Christmas cards, but they're so cute, you know, like I'm not in the market now for any Christmas cards, but I could not pass these up. First of all, they're small, and I like small, thick cards, and they're, see, they're, they're popped up a little, it's a, like a, what is it, 2D, 3D, whatever, <laughs> um, but yeah, the little Santa is popped up here with some little stickers, so I don't know who makes these. Uh, Susan Win Winget Winget Creative Papers. Uh, you know I had never seen anything. I had seen anything like this in my just Christmas shopping. Let's look at the envelope real quick. These are nice envelopes too. They're first of all they're thick and they look like handmade paper. You know, see the, like uh, appearance of them is like almost like coffee dyed, but they're not coffee dyed. That's how they how they came. So. There was a bunch in here. I don't know if any... Well, no, none were used because I opened the box. That's right. Plastic was covering this, and I wanted to see what they look like. So <laughs> I opened it up, and I thought I just thought they were so cute. So those will be for next year. So that is one thing I got. Oh, I found these two postcards, just random. Or is there three here? They're nice, though. They're pretty, and uh, this is some kind of a... It looks like a flower factory. I'm not sure. Those look like flowers. There's some words here that I cannot see at the moment, but I'll show you. Maybe you can see them. But I'm uh, not sure if that's flowers, but it looks like Flower Factory. My glasses are like foggy this morning. <laughs> it's not my eyes, it's my glasses. <laughs> so this is another one of a pretty city, and it's got a matte finish. These have, let's see, this has the matte finish too. Um, these are, you know, these are vintage old postcards. This one's really pretty. Of uh, this pretty um, city, is this? I'm trying to see if it, New Orleans. Okay, that's why it's so colorful. That's New Orleans right there. So isn't that pretty? I love those. I couldn't believe I found them. So I felt very lucky to find those. A little bit of fabric, and I thought this was pretty. I like the pattern, kind of. You know, uh, it's colorful. I thought it would be pretty. You could, I have enough for a whole cover or a spine or whatever. It would be great on a little golden book or any spine where you want some color. So it's just a nice cotton fabric there. Uh, this is a little, like, scarf. See how pretty the lace is? I don't know if you can see it down there on my pink, my pink mat, but it probably, it was... Uh, not bought by anyone else because it has a little mark right there but I kind of like almost love that mark even it looks like it's you know purposely grunged up and you know coffee dyed or something I mean there's like some you know darkness or brownness over here on the lace too and it's just the net probably the natural patina it doesn't look like anything was really spilled on there it just looks like it's been around a long time so I thought that was really nice when I found that. And let's see, this is a pillowcase. I've got found a couple of vintage pillowcases and this one has, you know, uh, I always get them if they're something I think people would like, like they're vintage, I, they have to be vintage and they have to be pretty and maybe shabby chic type thing, you know. So yeah, I have, I probably have a couple in my shop already and now this one will be added eventually <laughs> so and here is it oh yeah these are really pretty I never I never believe it when I find embroidered p 
pillowcases, you know what I mean? Like, why are they there? Why didn't somebody else grab them before me, you know, type of thing. But these have a really pretty flat, this one, had, well, it has a scalloped edge here. And then it has these really pretty butterflies and flowers. And those flowers, you know, it's all embroidered. And it's, let's see what it looks like on the other side. It probably was hand embroidered. Yeah, I don't think this is commercially done. I think somebody did this. See, here's the other side. It just looks like it's hand done to me. I don't know. I'm not an expert on that, but uh, yeah, I just really like the color of these flowers too. It's a really beautiful, I don't even know how to describe it, but it has a yellow center, but it's a pinkish, a pinkish color. That's how I'll describe it. <laughs> pinkish. <laughs> so um, this one also. Can you believe I found these? I can't, I never believe it when I find these. It's like, what? So uh, this one has a lace edge. And of course, this is, looks like it's hand done too. The cross with the pretty flowers and nice big green leaves there. Two-tone color on the leaves and the flowers. And let's see, I'll show you the other side too. See, looks like it's hand done. So really, really pretty. I just love those. So that, that's a white. That the other one was all, kind of off whitish. I don't know if it's because it's been around a while or what. But this one is a cream colored. This one looks like it was. Uh, um, it looks like the lace almost was put on by somebody. You know what I mean? It looks like maybe it wasn't originally there. Is it scalloped? No, it's just straight across. It's. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe it was originally there, but uh, it's got this pretty lace on the edge. And then really beautiful embroidery here. Isn't that pretty? Those are really pretty white and yellow flowers with a black center. So you could say they're daisies, sunflowers, or black-eyed Susans <laughs> on the yellow ones. The white ones, they don't they have a brown center, so you know, I think daisies have a yellow center maybe, but anyway, whatever they are, they are pretty. Here's the other side too, you can see it's all and done so gorgeous you don't have any stains on them I don't get pillowcases well I would get a pillowcase with a stain and then I would you know that would make give me an excuse to cut it up but these don't have any stains they're ready to go in my shop and we have a few books to explore uh, little bear and the beautiful kite this has a sticker from Kmart <laughs> but this is a telltale it's been around for a while but it's in good shape to read or I mean the spine is you know it's still together but the paper is gone there but uh, let's see if my foggy glasses will let me I think they're clearing up maybe it was my eyes <laughs> no those little pieces the little um, little words were were hard to see okay so this is Roman numerals oh goodness Let's see. I just said it's morning. Now I have to now I have to add and subtract. 19 um, L5. So that's 55. 1955 on this. Wow, that's pretty old. Very pretty. Cute though. The little bear one. I love you more. This one was cute. And you see, it's all in good shape. This one is... Um, Looks like 1982, I think. I think it says 1982. It could be older than that. But uh, old McDonald, this is a this is a nice old one. See, 29 cents. You know that's a, a a long time ago. It's a little golden book. It doesn't have its gold spine anymore. It's this. It's together. Just the gold part is gone. <laughs> and see the oh, it has this yellow inside. I love that. Whenever I don't find these too often, but whenever I find one, I love that yellow, yellow inside there it has a name written there. And let's see if we can see a year here. 19, that's 60, 1960, I think. So yeah, it's in good condition. Really, the pages are brown, but there's no writing or rips or tears. There's, well, there's a little tear right here, I see. Yeah, see that? That's a couple, two or three pages there have that same little tear through it. Is it through the whole book? 
there's a little dent here. It doesn't, it's not like torn. It's just like a little dent right there. <laughs> dent in the pages. This one was cool. The Eleanor Smith Music Course. I haven't researched any of these yes, yet, but um, I like this one. It, I like the cover that it had these words on it and the little symbol there, a musical, what is that, a harp or something. And then, or a, some kind of a, yeah, some kind of a, like a harp or something. And then, let's see, let's see how old it is. Gosh, see, let me show you how little this is. I, I don't know. I have to look at this later <laughs> in, uh, in brighter light or something, but it's right there. And uh, it's old. It's 19, it almost looks like 190 something, 09 or something. Anyway, that's an oldie. And it's in good shape. I mean, the spine is together. If I was going to sell this on my Etsy, it's totally together. Very strong book, it looks like here. Spines all totally together. You know, front and back. Yeah. Yep. So, very cool. Scooby Doo. This is probably going to go in my collection. It's a newer, but um, I'm a Scooby, a big time Scooby Doo fan <laughs> for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I just always thought Scooby Doo. I think I probably told you that before. Unless you're new to my channel and you haven't heard me say that before, I um, have. I, I've always loved Scooby Doo. I used to watch it when I was a kid, and I have Scooby Doo mats in my car, <laughs> and I've had them for a very long time. Like, you can't buy them anymore. I bought them a long time ago, and I I just, they're the, like the vinyl or the thick vinyl or whatever. Okay, let's look at this. Better Homes and Gardens Flower arrang Arranging. Now, I bought this for the pages, and I always look at the flower books when I find them, and a lot of them I really don't, you know, care for, but these had the old kind of 60s or whatever, 70s look. This looks like six, maybe even 60s. And the pages were browning and it just really had that nice kind of old patina to the pages and I thought even if I don't use it someone would really love this because of that just that old look to these pages you know what I mean so what year is it it's made by better home it's put out by better homes and gardens too um, is there a date here? I don't think it's on that page. I may have to look for it later. Is it here? 19... I think it says 57. 1957. So, and it's a big book. There's a pretty picture right here. It's kind of like embossed into the cover too. So, very nice old book there. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, this one I like, not necessarily for the front cover. I really don't like meat on the front of a cover of a cookbook. I wish they would put, you know, like, what does this have to do with? McCall's Company Cookbook. I mean, I guess that's supposed to be a fancy meal, but I just really don't like meat on the front of a... I like meat, but not on the front of my cookbooks. But I got this for the inside. I mean, look at this. So cute, retro looking. And... Look at these pages. Look at this one. Isn't that adorable? The company's coming. See? Company cookbook. And there's the company <laughs> arriving. And let's, let's see what else is in here. I like the color when there's color on the pages as far as stuff like that. And then it had these little pictures where, you know, there's the company again and all the nice looking recipes. And I just looked really, yeah, some of the, the, just the pictures in here were really cool. That's why I went ahead and got this one, even though I didn't really care for the cover. I love, love, love the pages. Here's some little cookbook ephemera there, which I will leave in there. I don't know. I may have to keep this one, though, and use it in my cookbook journals. I like the length of the pages. This could be a great page for a traveler's notebook, like the perfect size. Or, you know, these are going to come out together. So you're going to have all of that room to and you know take up your whole book cover plus have some fold over or pocket room and stuff like that so yeah this is that's that's why i got this i love the pages and the size of it 
Okay, so that's that. Let's see what else. Is this all ephemera that I found? Okay, so what did I find here? Um, this is a, these are from like dog, doggy papers. <laughs> Registered, see the AKC right there? It's just ephemera, but I thought, well, wow, that's neat. I've never found anything like that before. I think there's a few of these Pekingese. And these people had some Pekingese, and there's several different years here. Female, two different females, at least two different females, maybe more. It tells the father and the mother's name. I've never had a dog that was registered. I've never seen papers before, so that's what they look like. Here's the record book information. It's not you know written on or anything, so that's kind of a neat piece of ephemera. What is this? Oh, this is just a map, an old little map here, Grand Cayman. Uh, um, another, just a regular map, you know, folded map, but it's pretty green and blue. Oh, that's pretty too, front and back, so that's neat, just a map. And what do we have here? The Bill of Rights, <laughs> an old copy of it. And it's, you know, these old, um, like, souvenir kind of papers like this usually come on really nice paper. If you actually wanted to uh, use one of these in your journals and tear it up for, for um, collage or something, it's really actually very nice paper. See the color and everything and the fonts on here. And this one too, which what is this? This is... Um, this looks like it says Declaration. It doesn't say Declaration of Independence. It must be, though. But, um, see, this is that same kind of crinkly, nice paper with the brown on here, the brown print. Looks like it was taken out of a book. I didn't take it out of a book, but maybe it was in a dictionary or a big dictionary or something. But there, there I go. Uh, some nice little pieces of ephemera that I found. And that is it for this week. So I hope you enjoyed my little goodies. A uh, quick little, um, you know, haul video this week. And I will see you all next time. So I hope you have a great day. Take care and uh, happy thrifting.